watching Waterbury High School Basketball Replay presented by Waterbury High School Sports on Channel 16 and 96. Everybody, welcome to the sold out Crosby Palace at Crosby High School for tonight's big matchup between the Crosby Bulldogs and the Sacred Heart Hearts. My name is Michael Valenti and you're watching Waterbury High School Sports Basketball Replay on channels 16 and 96. Now these two teams met back in December when the Bulldogs won a close one by a score of 79 to 76. Since then, the Hearts have been great winning all but one game. That game, a non-conference game against Capital Prep but the Bulldogs have been unbelievable this season. They're 13-0, number two in the state according to the New Haven Register, and they're averaging almost 90 points a game. They're averaging 40 uh, rebounds per game, 16 steals per game, and they're led by their leading scorer and senior, Tyshawn Rogers, who's averaging almost 30 points a game. Well, it's gonna be a fun one. The number eight Sacred Heart Hearts, the number two Crosby Bulldogs coming up next. The national anthem has been sung. The lineups have been announced. We are ready for tip-off here at Crosby Palace. It looks like Chapman and Petaway for the tip-off, and it's won by the hearts of Sacred Hearts. We're underway. Pass almost stolen there by Lex Perez. Kicked out in the corner. And now to the top of the key to number two. That's Mustafa Heron. He's a spotlight player of the night for the hearts as the shot's put up no good. Rebounded underneath. Put in no good. Heron gets the rebound and draws a foul. Looks like that's gonna be on a Seam King underneath. Going to the line, shooting two is Mustafa Heron. Two teams in the top 10 in the New Haven Register boys basketball polls. First shot is good from Heron. So the Hearts score first with 7.39 to go in this first quarter. It's a packed crowd here at Crosby Palace. Second free throw is good. Tyshawn Rogers, the leading scorer for the Bulldogs, bringing it up. Passing it over to Asim King. King drives in traffic, shot put up and blocked underneath. Cross court to Malik Petaway. He jams it home! King now goes to the right side. In the corner to Daniel Jones. Around to Tyshawn Rogers. Puts up a shot. Off the rim. Off the top of the backboard. Goes out of bounds. And the Sacred Heart fans that have traveled cross town to this game getting wild early. They're up 4 nothing with 7.07 to go in the first quarter. Inbound pass to Heron. Full court press applied by the Crosby Bulldogs. A team that forces 16 steals a game. Heron puts up a three in traffic. Good! 
Seven nothing, Hearts lead. I've never seen the Bulldogs trail this much at all this season. In the amount of games that I've done in this Waterbury season, Chapman around to Jones. Jones bounce pass, almost intercepted by Heron. Wide open, Tyshawn Rogers for three, yes! Tyshawn Rogers averaging almost 30 points a game. The team's leading scorer scores first for the Bulldogs. You can hear this jam-packed crowd very loud tonight. And it's gonna stay loud throughout this game. Pass underneath the Petaway. Takes a shot, off, and rebounded by Tyshawn Rogers. He's gonna push this one up. Shot is no good. Daniel Jones tipping, no good. Jaron Chapman tips it in, and it's now 7-5 with less than six minutes to go in the first quarter. Charles Fisher being guarded by Lex Perez. Stops his dribble, passes over to Mustafa Heron. Heron, across to the three-point line, spin move. Shot, good for two. Seven of the nine Hearts points are from Mustafa and Heron. Pass to the left side, Jaron Chapman. Defense being called by the Hart fans. Drive, shot put up, no good. Tip in is good. Looks like Daniel Jones with the tip in there. So now Heron on the near side, guarded by Chapman. Heron spin moves, fakes a shot, puts one up, off the rim, no good, ball loose. Picked up by Rasco, Isaiah Rasco, number 30. Five minutes ago, seven and nine, Sacred Heart leads. Pass nearly intercepted by Perez. Heron puts up a shot in front of the front foul line and it's good for two. Rogers guarded by Heron. Now back to Chapman. Chapman spins, kicks it out to Jones, thinks about shooting but passes it over to Tyshawn Rogers for an NBA size three. Off the front of the rim, no good. Saved by Jaron Chapman. And picked up by the Hearts. Heron, wide open, he slams it home. We're approaching the halfway mark in the first quarter. It's 13 to seven, pass is stolen. Shot put up and good. Tyron Flowers with the steal. Rogers quickly pushing it up. Shot no good, and rebounded by Heron. And we got a foul called. It looks like it's gonna be on Tyshawn Rogers. And the only people cheering right now are the Sacred Heart Heart fans. And we have our first substitution of the night. As number 15, Zarvon Love enters the game for the Crosby Bulldogs. 4.05 to go. Sacred Heart Hearts lead 15 to seven. Mustafa Heron will bring it up. He's already has 11 points in this game. Cross court pass, underneath, ball's loose. Picked up by the Hearts, in traffic, it's good for two. Charles Fisher with his first two points of the game. Pass in the corner, Perez for three, shot no good, and rebounded by Sacred Heart again. Flowers with the rebound, under four minutes ago, almost three and a half minutes now. Heron, guarded by Rogers, lopped underneath the Petaway. Petaway backs up, and we got a foul call, or did he step out of bounds? He stepped out of bounds. Good defense there by Zarvon Love and Asim King to force the turnover. The Bulldogs, in a surprise here, trailing by 10 with 3.24 to go in the first quarter. King stops his dribble, passes to his right to Rogers, being heavily guarded. Perez now drives on the left side. Shot put up, no good. No foul called, ball's loose and picked up by Chapman. Chapman, bounce pass to King, wide open for three. Yes! So some life from the Bulldogs crowd now as a big three is hit from Asim King. Rogers no look past the Petaway. Nice move and the lay in for two. Perez passing it over to King. King drives, 
Shot blocked. Ball's loose. Love tries to dive on it. Still diving on it. And a timeout. No, jump ball. Timeout was not called, but will stay with the Bulldogs. Vin Lombardi enters the game for the Sacred Heart Hearts. He's coming in for Isaiah Rasco. 2.32 to go in this first quarter. 19 to 10, Sacred Heart leads. King puts up a jumper. Good for two. Asim King leads the team right now with five of the Crosby Bulldogs, 12 points as we are approaching the two minute mark in the first quarter. Now King heavily guarding number 24, Tyran Flowers. Now Heron puts up a shot. Good off the glass, it's gonna count for two. Rogers. And you can hear the Sacred Heart cheering crowd now. Over to Chapman, around to King, no foul call. Perez for three, no good off the back of the rim. Zarvan Love gets the rebound and draws the foul. It looks like that one's gonna be on Mustafa Heron. Trying to sneak a steal in there, but gets some contact. Twenty-one to twelve, Sacred Heart leading the Crosby Bulldogs. Lex Perez back to a seam King in the corner. King passing it over to Love. Love bounce pass to Rogers, mishandled and intercepted. Ball is nearly intercepted. Petaway now starts his dribble, then stops. Cross to intended for Vin Lombardi but was way off target. So now Charles Fisher will exit the game as Isaiah Rasco returns. Inbound pass goes to Tyshawn Rogers. One minute, 10 seconds to go. What a block! Malik Petaway comes out of nowhere and swats that away from Tyshawn Rogers. Shot put up, blocked in front. King in traffic off the glass. He draws a foul. He'll go to the line shooting too. A lot of action here in this first quarter. 57.4 seconds to go in the first quarter. Sacred Heart leads 21 to 12 as Asim King goes to the line shooting two. First shot off the front of the rim, no good. King. Second free throw is good. And Asim King will exit. In comes number 21, Stefan Dunbar. Trying to get the inbound pass and he does. Rasco is now being double teamed. And nice ball movement there. Bounce pass to Lombardi. Lombardi puts up a shot, but they're gonna call it travel before the bucket. So a turnover there, and the Bulldogs get the ball back with 49.4 seconds to go. Trailing by eight. Dunbar will bring it up for the Bulldogs. Being guarded by Flowers. Bounce pass in the corner to Zarvan Love. Now to Rogers. Now to Chapman. Chapman to Perez. 30 seconds to go in the first. Love mishandles it, and it's stolen by Petaway. Petaway pushes it over to Rasco. Rasco on the baseline. He's gonna get called for traveling. And we're gonna have a substitution. Daniel Jones re-enters the game for Zarvon Love. And David Whitney makes his first appearance of the game coming in for Malik Petaway, who's having himself a decent game so far. 20 seconds to go in this first quarter. 
And the Bulldogs are trailing by eight as Perez tries to pass it off to Jones. Miscommunication there, ball goes out of bounds and it goes to Sacred Heart. This is not the Crosby basketball that you're used to. A team that scores at will, does not make many mistakes, and they're gonna get called for a five second violation there. So the Bulldogs catch a break and they're gonna get the ball back. Gonna have a substitution as Asim King returns and Daniel Jones exits. 13 seconds to go, inbound pass to King. Trying to get the final shot off with 10 seconds left. King, pick made by Rogers. Nice dribble behind the back. King is gonna get a jump ball and it's gonna go to the hearts. The Sacred Heart fans that are here tonight loving the call, Crosby fans, not so much. Less than four seconds ago, definitely enough time to get a shot off. They're gonna give it to Heron with three seconds left. Heron gets to the three point line, no foul called as Tyshawn Rogers blocks the shot, and that's gonna end the first quarter with the score, Sacred Heart 21, Crosby 13. You're watching Waterbury High School Sports Basketball Replay on Channel 16 and 96. My name is Michael Valenti, and you're watching a very, very fun game so far. The number eight, Sacred Heart Hearts, and the number two, Crosby Bulldogs and a jam-packed crowd here at the Crosby Palace. The big story so far between the two big players on each team. First for Sacred Heart, Mustafa Heron has been scoring at will. He has 13 points already in the first quarter. Tyshawn Rogers, who comes into this game averaging almost 30 points a game, has been silenced to only three. And I gotta tell you, it's they're not giving Tyshawn Rogers any looks to get any points tonight. It's been hard. But Crosby needs to get some ball movement here to get back into this game, trailing by eight as we start the second quarter. Looks like both teams will start with their original starting lineups to start the second quarter. Dunbar comes in, so that's the only change in the starting lineup for the Bulldogs as Tyshawn Rogers has the ball guarded by Mustafa Heron. Pass to Dunbar. Dunbar trying to shake off his defender. He can't, so he passes over to King. King stops his dribble. Bounce pass to Chapman. Chapman stops his dribble. Needs to do something with it. He gives it to Tyshawn Rogers. Rogers drives. Shot put up. And he'll go to the line shooting too. Mustafa Heron with his second foul of the game there. Team's third. First shot is no good. Second free throw is good. Pass is lofted up and stolen by Asim King. King lays it in, good for two. Eight points for Asim King. Now a five point lead for Sacred Heart. Fisher guarded by Tyshawn Rogers. Now double team, pass in the corner to Flowers. Underneath to Petaway. Petaway, shot is blocked by Jaron Chapman and picked up by Asim King. King's gonna push it up. King, from coast to coast, yes he does! Now a three point game and Crosby's back in it. Heron, being double teamed right now by Rogers and Perez. Heron stops his dribble, he's gonna be called for a travel and the Bulldogs get the ball back. And a timeout is called by Sacred Heart. 6.45 to go in the second quarter. Sacred Heart leads 21 to 18. 
five unanswered points to start this second quarter. The Bulldogs with the ball, trailing only by three. And now John Carroll for Sacred Heart, the head coach, takes a timeout to discuss things over and just asking their team what happened in the last minute 15. And this is the type of game you're gonna see tonight. No lead will be too big for either one of these teams. No substitutions made by the Bulldogs, nor the Hearts. As Tyshawn Rogers catches the Hearts sleeping, King for the tie, yes! Haseem King has tied this one up at 21 with six and a half to go in the second. Flowers wide open, does not take the shot, ball is tipped, it's stolen by Lex Perez. Tyshawn Rogers gets the pass, lay-in is good, and the Bulldogs take the lead. 23-21, and now the Crosby crowd is getting wild. Heron in the corner, Flowers for the lead, yes! Five points for Tyran Flowers. After the big three-pointer, they have the lead by one. Bounce pass to Rogers is intercepted by... Oh, what a block! It's stolen by Fisher, and a big block there by Jared Chapman. He draws the foul. The foul was called on Chapman, but that's a foul you're willing to take there as Charles Fisher goes to the line, shooting two. First shot is no good. So, if Fisher makes this one, it will only make it a two point game. He does make it. Dunbar brings it up, stops the dribble, and it's kicked off by Fisher, and we're gonna have a foul. And that's going to be on Dunbar, who easily tried pushing Charles Fisher out of the way to get the ball back. So Sacred Heart will get the ball. Crosby fans not liking the call, but that's a clear foul there. And after that, Dunbar will leave the game, and Daniel Jones re-enters. Inbound pass to Petaway. Petaway, shot, hook shot is no good. And rebounded by Lex Perez. It's two on one. Rogers, shot, good! And we're tied at 25 with five and a half to go in the second. Heron, ball is tipped. Heron regains possession. Nice pass to Petaway, and he slams, and one! Asim King has no idea where the foul was there. To be honest with you, at first look, I didn't see a foul either. But Mustafa Heron, or excuse me, Malik Petaway will go to the line to complete the three-point play. Petaway second dunk of the night. If they keep that stat in high school, I'm not sure. 527 to go in the second. 27-25, Sacred Heart leads. And Petaway completes the three-point play. So how do the Bulldogs retaliate here? Bounce pass to Tyshawn Rogers, lofted up by Asim King. King will bounce pass, wide open Chapman, but he can't take the shot, and passes back to King. King fakes a couple passes, drives, kicks it out, wide open Chapman for three. No good, Rogers gets the rebound. In traffic, it's blocked by Flowers. Right. Rogers, no good, no good again. Picked up by Flowers. Bounce pass is intercepted by Chapman, and he keeps it in bounds. Drives the baseline, shot, no good, but draws the foul. Relentless performance by the Bulldogs on that one. Second and third chances on the rebounds, no good. Pass nearly stolen, saved by Jaron Chapman, drives the baseline, draws the foul, and he's at the line shooting two. 
The first one short, no good. Second one from Chapman is good. Zarvon Love will enter the game, coming in for Daniel Jones. It's a two-point game, Sacred Heart Hearts leading the Crosby Bulldogs in this February 4th matchup. Waterbury High School Sports Basketball Replay on Channel 16 and 96. My name is Michael Valenti, and you are watching a very exciting basketball game between two teams in the top 10 battling it out. And we have a foul. Heron falls hard to the ground. And they're gonna call an offensive foul on Mustafa Heron, his third of the night. And he's gonna exit the game with 442 to go in the second half. That's a big foul and that could be a turning point in this second quarter. Bulldogs trailing by two. Nice pass to Chapman. Chapman drives the baseline. Underneath lay in is good. And we have a tie game again. Five points for Jaron Chapman. Rasco, pass underneath to Lombardi. Nice pass to Petaway. Shot and one. Malik Petaway, nine points in the game. Looking to make it 10 and give the Hearts a three point lead. The foul on Zarvon Love, his first, team's sixth. Head away. Shot is short, goes out of bounds as Jaron Chapman mishandles the rebound and the Hearts get the ball back. Petaway gets the inbound pass. Bounce pass to Flowers, trying to stay in bounds. He can't, he's going back to the Bulldogs. So a bad break for the Bulldogs. No harm, no foul as they get the ball back after a big mistake there by Tyran Flowers. King, bounce pass to Rogers. Rogers mishandles it and it's stolen by Vin Lombardi. Lombardi to Fisher. Shot put up, no good, it's short, and now rebounded by the Bulldogs. Here's Rogers, alone by, against Lombardi, he gets the shot, it's good. After scoring only three points in the first quarter, he enters back with seven in the second as a foul is called, and the bucket is good. Charles Fisher will go to the line to try to complete the three-point play, 32 to 30. Sacred Heart leads. And Trayvon Douglas enters the game for the first time. That's number 10 for the Bulldogs. Under four minutes to go in this second quarter. As Fisher goes to the line. He hits it. Six points for Charles Fisher. Two for three from the free throw line. And it's a three point game now. Three points, that was the difference between the last time these two teams played against each other. That one at Sacred Heart, that one Crosby won. And a timeout called by Crosby. And just looking at the bench right now, head coach Nick Argelli, not happy right now. The Crosby Bulldogs trailing by three. The few games that we've seen from the Bulldogs earlier this year have been fairly easy one-handed ga one -handed games, including a game earlier this year where the Bulldogs were facing a will-be team who was also in the top 10, thought it was gonna be a close one, and ended up being almost double in the lead. It was. Unbelievable that game. And now here we are, Sacred Heart leading by three. 33 to 30, 333 to go. A lot of threes in that one. Asim King lofted it in the corner for Douglas. No good. Rebounded by Fisher. Fisher. 
Fisher, nice move. And I think a foul called away from the action against the Bulldogs. So Vin Lombardi will go to the line shooting one and one. The foul was on number 21, that's Stefan Dunbar. And the first one is good. Tyshawn Rogers re-enters the game for Dunbar. The second is good from Lombardi. So the lead back to five. Lofted in the corner, Lex Perez. Perez back to Rogers. Nice ball movement now to King. King stops the movement, starts his dribble, does not go back court. Lofted in the corner to Douglas, who keeps it in bounds. Lombardi trying to steal it. Pass tipped and picked up by Chapman. Rogers has the open shot, an NBA size three. Yes! Tyshawn Rogers knew it from the release. It was good. 2.38 to go. Bulldogs trail by two. Fisher lofted to Rasco. Rasco, ball almost stolen there by Rogers. Flowers, wide open is Fisher. Off the glass and good for two. Eight points for Charles Fisher. Tyshawn Rogers lofted up to a seam king. Trying to find Douglas in the corner. He can't, so he bounces it back to Tyshawn Rogers. Loft it back to King as he is heavily guarded. King puts up a three, short, and off the top of the backboard, out of bounds. So now the lead is four for Sacred Heart. They had a lead as big as eight at one point. The Bulldogs tied it, they had the lead, and now trail by four as Fisher has the ball. Over to Lombardi, in the corner, Flowers, pass tipped, picked up by Lombardi, no look pass is tipped, Rasco, shot off the glass, no good, Petaway underneath, off the glass, no good, and picked up by Chapman, they're gonna call it jump ball, possession arrow goes to Sacred Heart. And there are a couple Crosby fans yelling directly at the ref. And Nick Jelly not happy with that call. And now the Crosby fans letting the ref know their emotions on that one. Wide open is Lombardi for three. No good. Ball is inbounds. Nice pickup by Petaway. Petaway underneath. It's intercepted by Lex Perez. Wide open is Jared Chapman. Chapman is fouled by Lombardi. A minute and a half to go, 37 to 33. I think Nick Gaugelli, the head coach of Crosby, looking for a technical foul there. He's not gonna get it. So Jaron Chapman going to the line shooting two. Chapman's first is good. Three point game, it's a one possession game now. Chapman misses the second and it's rebounded by Malik Petaway. Petaway pushing it up quickly to Flowers. Lombardi is open underneath, but he can't get to him. Rasco with the pass, no good. And picked up by Chapman. And a foul is called against Sacred Heart. And that's gonna put Jaron Chapman back on the line shooting one and one. Lombardi's first foul of the night. Team seventh, so now both teams are in the bonus. Oh, excuse me, that, that foul was on Rasco. The first shot is no good and rebounded by 
Petaway. Rasko quickly pushing up, wide open. It's Flowers in the corner for three, yes! Tyrain Flowers, eight points in the night. A big three-pointer there. Douglas passing it over to Chapman. Douglas putting up a three in traffic. It rims out and picked up by Flowers. Less than a minute to go. Wide open is Fisher. Nice move to fake, and it's good. 10 points now for Charles Fisher. 45 seconds to go in the first half. Pass intercepted by Malik Petaway. Petaway trying to make a move. Rogers. Oh, he goes for the dunk. He goes for the dunk. He can't get it in this time, but draws the foul, and it will go to the line shooting two. One thing I will say, if you're going to foul anybody on Sacred Heart, you don't want to foul Malik Petaway. He is easily their best free throw shooter. Very fundamentally sound when it comes to the free throw line. 34.2 seconds to go. Petaway's first is good. Daniel Jones comes in for Jaron Chapman. And Zarvon Love enters for Trayvon Douglas. Petaway trying to make this the biggest lead. Well, it's already the biggest lead of the night with nine. Trying to make it 10. Second free throw is good. So with 30 seconds to go, Rogers lofted to Perez. King now with the ball as it's nearly intercepted. Wide open for three is Love, but he can't get the shot off. Trying to get it around to Rogers. They get it to Rogers. Pass is tipped and picked up by Rogers. Rogers in traffic. The foul was on the floor, so the shot will not count. 13.4 seconds to go. Tyshawn Rogers going to the line, shooting two. Malik Petaway makes a uh, commit to his second foul. David Whitney comes into the game. And a nice ovation coming for Malik Petaway, who's having an amazing first half. Now Rodgers hits the first. Rodgers trying to make this an eight point game. Second free throw is good. Rodgers three of four from the line tonight. Eight point game, 44-36 with 13.4 seconds to go. Full court press now by the Bulldogs. The inbound pass goes to Lombardi, and now Lombardi trying to find something. He's double teamed by King and Perez. Can't get a pass off, he does get it to Fisher though. In traffic for three, rebounded by Jones. Three seconds left, over to Perez. Can he get the shot off? No. It would have counted. The shot was off in time, but it's off the glass, off the rim, no good. And at the half, the Sacred Heart Hearts are pulling an upset here, 44 to 36. You're watching Waterbury High School Sports Basketball Replay on Channel 16 and 96. The second half is gonna be just as entertaining as the first half. Stay tuned. the half it's 44 to 36 Sacred Heart leading the Crosby Bulldogs you're watching Waterbury High School Sports basketball replay on channel 16 and 96 we're at the Crosby Palace my name is Michael Valenti the number two team in the state Crosby trailing the number eight team in Sacred Heart by eight going into this half it's been a seesaw battle uh, Sacred Heart has had a lead as big as 10 Crosby has tied the game they've even had the lead at one point but they are not holding on like they are used to in prior games. And Crosby is 16 minutes away from losing their first game this season, unless they can turn things around. Keys of the second half, first for Crosby. They gotta get the ball to Tyshawn Rogers. 
In the first quarter, he only had three points. He answered back in the second quarter with 12, giving him 15 points, and he actually leads the game for both teams with 15 points in this game. But they gotta get him the ball more. He's had some open looks. They haven't given him the ball. Uh, give credit to Sacred Heart with their very tight defense. And they, the Hearts need to continue that in the second half. Also, Mustafa Heron, who had a terrific first half, leading the team with 13 points. And that was basically in one and a half quarters because he left the game uh, midway through the second quarter after committing three fouls. The third foul, a very debatable foul. Many would say it was a blown call by the referees. And thus, John Carroll made the decision to take his star player out and had to protect him from getting in any more foul trouble here for the second half. So as we get set for the beginning of the second half, the Bulldogs are first on the court. They have Asim King, Daniel Jones, Tyshawn Rogers, Jaron Chapman, and I don't see a fifth yet. It looks like it's gonna be Lex Perez. Lex Perez has not left the game yet. He has played the entirety, all 16 minutes so far. John Carroll still with his Sacred Heart Hearts, giving his team strategy for this second half. And also a big, big point of emphasis here tonight, Malik Petaway is also having a great game. He is dominating underneath. He's doing well on the free throw line. He, lead, he is second on the team with 11 points. And he has a couple steals. He is doing terrific tonight. And he needs to continue his strong performance in the second half if they want to keep this Sacred Heart lead. 44 to 36 in the third quarter here at Crosby Palace. I believe the reason for the slight delay is they're trying to get everybody back in their seats or as much of the crowd back into their seats as possible. It is a sold out crowd here at the Crosby Palace. Part of it is because it is a crosstown battle. Part of it is because CPTV Sports is here broadcasting the game. Part of it is because we're broadcasting the game. But there's the buzzer. The teams will return to the court and the Bulldogs will start with the ball. Coming now to our left and try to come back from an eight point lead. They did it in the second quarter after trailing by eight at the end of the first quarter and tied the game up at one point and even took the lead. And no lead is big enough against the Crosby Bulldogs because they score at will. They average almost 90 points a game as we get set to start the second half. Tyshawn Rogers has it, a big three to start it off and it's off the back of the board and picked up by Lex Perez. Asim King is double teamed by Rasco and Heron. Over to Perez. Perez will loft it to Tyshawn Rogers. Cross court pass is gonna go back court and they will call the back court violation as no Sacred Heart player touched it. And a turnover to start the second half for the Crosby Bulldogs. Coming into this game, they are number two in the state According to the New Haven Register polls, they're 13-0, including a win earlier this season against the Sacred Heart Hearts. As the shot's put up by Petaway, and one! <laughs> so Daniel Jones commits his second foul and he will exit the game. Zarvan Love re-enters. Petaway, who's three of four tonight from the free throw line, looking to complete the three-point play. And it's good. So now double team, Perez, bounce past the King. You Now you hear the Hearts crowd getting into it. Perez for three, shot no good. Rebounded by Flowers and pass to Heron. It's two on one. Heron 
Nice move, and it's good for two. A 13-point lead. Pass to King. King puts up a three with Heron in his face. No good. Rebounded by Zarvon Love. Ball is loose and picked up by Charles Fisher. Charles Fisher with the ball, guarded by Jaron Love. Nice bounce pass to Heron. He's double teamed, puts up a shot regardless, and picked up by Zarvon Love. Love, pass tipped out of bounds by Mustafa Heron. 6.33 to go in the third quarter, a 13-point lead for the Sacred Heart Hearts. Asim King off the foot of Charles Fisher, and that will stop play. The inbound pass goes on the backcourt to Tyshawn Rogers. Lofted to Jaron Chapman. He's double teamed right now by Rasco and Petaway, and a foul called, and as Rasco raises his hand, admitting to the foul. So Chapman will take it behind the backboard. And inbounds it to Love and circles it around to Asim King. King, double team, bounce pass to Lex Perez. King, over to Chapman. Chapman loses the ball, and it's picked up by Flowers. Flowers to Fisher. Six minutes to go, Sacred Heart leading by 13. Flowers. Trying to find something, he finds Mustafa Heron at the top of the key, guarded by Lex Perez. Puts up a shot, it's good! Timeout called by Crosby. 51 to 36 in the third quarter. You're watching Waterbury Sports, Waterbury High School Sports basketball replay on channel 16 and 96. My name is Michael Valenti, and what you're hearing right now is the crowd of the Sacred Heart Hearts who have come across town for this game and are pulling a very surprising performance leading by 15 against the Crosby Bulldogs. A Crosby team that averages almost 90 points a game, almost 16 steals a game, almost 40 rebounds a game, and in every aspect right now they are being dominated. The offense for Crosby just looks undecisive at times. They're not moving the ball like they usually do. They're not stealing def uh, on defense, causing fast breaks, which lead to a lot of their points. Sacred Heart has really kept care of the ball tonight. And it's all thanks, well not all thanks, but mostly thanks to Mustafa Heron and Malik Petaway who have done a terrific job and the scoring department. So now the Hearts crowd chanting defense. The Bulldogs crowd very silent right now as the ball goes out of bounds. We'll stay with the Bulldogs as it was last touched by Petaway. Rod, uh, Chapman trying to find somebody. He finds King. King tries to pass to Love, he does so. Love kicks it out to King. And King trying to find someone to pass to, he does. He gets Rogers. Rogers kicks it out to King for three. Short. And it's picked up by Chapman. He puts up a shot. No good. Draws the foul, goes to the line, shooting two. So Fisher gets the foul there. That's his second. First free throw is short from Chapman. Chapman two for five right now from the free throw line. Second free throw is good. Pass is nearly intercepted and it goes out of bounds. 
That's the type of defense that the Bulldogs are known to have. Trying to get that quick steal and the fast break. They just haven't had those opportunities tonight as there is almost a steal from Chapman. No foul called. Heron goes through everybody. Misses the shot though and it's picked up by Lex Perez. He steps on the line, out of bounds, goes to the hearts. <laughs> and the hearts crowd doing the infamous high school chant, you can't do that. <laughs> and an offensive foul. Or no offensive foul, the ball was just out of bounds as Heron stepped out and a turnover for the Bulldogs. Douglas, who re-enters the game, now has the ball, passes to Tyshawn Rogers. King is wide open, won't take the shot though. Now takes a shot off the glass, no good, and rebounded by Petaway. Heavily guarded by three Bulldogs, and finally a foul is called. No, yes, a foul is called. That one on Zar Von Love. His third of the game. Pass is intercepted. Chapman throws it up, no good. Gets his own rebound and tipped in for two. Still a long way to go. 51-39, the Bulldogs are trailing. Wide open, I think that was a pass, but it hit the rim. Rodgers has it now, drives in traffic, foul called. So Rodgers going to the line. Rodgers who's yet to score in the second half. Looking to get his first point. First free throw is good. An 11 point lead now for Sacred Heart. Rogers with a second free throw, trying to make it a 10 point lead. It is good after a couple bounces. Lex Perez re-enters the game. Trayvon Douglas exits. 4.15 to go in the third, it's a 10 point lead. Rasco hands it off to Flowers. Double teamed right now and gets it in the corner to Fisher. Drives the baseline, shot blocked, but a foul's called. And Zarvon Love not liking the call. Bulldogs head coach Nick Jelly not liking it either. First free throw from Fisher is good. And Douglas re-enters as Love has committed his fourth foul of the game. Fisher's second is good. We're at the halfway mark in the third quarter. 12 point lead for the Sacred Heart Hearts. King. Trying to find somebody, gets it to Rogers, wide open for three, yes! Nine points, pass is tipped and picked up by Tyshawn Rogers. King thinks about shooting, now takes it up at the elbow, off the glass and good for two! Now a seven point game, timeout called. And it's a full timeout for Sacred Heart. The let's go Bulldogs chant starting for the Crosby fans. You're watching Waterbury 
High School Sports Basketball Replay on Channel 16 and 96. My name is Michael Valenti, and it has been an exciting game. The Bulldogs have yet to say I quit. Despite being down by double digits, something you don't see from this Crosby Bulldog team, the Sacred Heart Hearts are playing a terrific game and showing why they are at least the number eight team in the state, maybe even higher after tonight. 3.33 to go in the third, it's 53 to 46. Fisher trying to inbound, he does so to Isaiah Rasco. Rasco passes over to Fisher in the corner, wide open is Flowers, he can't get the shot off. Nice defense there by Douglas. Nice ball movement, Heron gets the shot, no good. Flowers gets the rebound, jump ball. Staying with the hearts. Nice transition defense there by the Bulldogs. Shot is up, but a foul is called. That one on Trayvon Douglas. Tyrane Flowers had a wide open shot in the corner, and all of a sudden you see two Bulldogs there. He couldn't get the shot off. They moved the ball around. Heron misses the shot. Fisher misses his first free throw. Just nice defense there by the Bulldogs. Forcing Fisher to the line. He already missed his first, and he hits his second. King. Pass is tipped out of bounds. Staying with the Bulldogs, last touch by Charles Fisher. <laughs> Stephen Dunbar makes his first appearance in the second half. He's coming in for a seam king. And now Dunbar over to Tyshawn Rogers. Lofted wide open is Douglas. Nice defense there, puts up a shot, blocked by Petaway. He gets the rebound, pass to Rasco. Rasco, underneath, nice pass, nice moves. Shot no good, Petaway gets the rebound, the shot, and one! Malik Petaway starts it off with the block, picks up the rebound, finishes it off with the two points, draws the foul, tries to complete the three-point play. Shot is good. Dunbar. Passes tip. Picked up by Douglas. Nice ball movement to Rogers. He's going to take a shot with a hand in his face. It's good for three. Heron guarded by Rogers. Shot off the glass, no good. Pet away with the rebound. Shot blocked by Rogers. And Tyshawn Rogers is pumped up. Heron double teamed right now in the corner. Passing over to Petaway. Petaway drives. Foul is called on Jaron Chapman. He doesn't like the call, but it is a foul. Crosby's sixth team foul. Chapman's third. An eight point lead with 2.27 to go. Malik Petaway going back to the line shooting two. The first is good. Six of seven from the free throw line is Malik Petaway in the night. 18 points for the night. Couple substitutions being made on both sides. Finn Lombardi re-enters the game, as does Daniel Jones. Malik Petaway trying to make it eight of nine. Shot is good after a couple bounces.
Pass in the corner to Lex Perez. Bounce pass to, to Chapman. Almost stolen there. Now Rogers has the ball. Lex Perez running around the baseline receives the pass. He's double teamed. Contact being made. No foul called. It's going to Sacred Heart. Fisher passes tipped, but Petaway recovers. Two minutes ago, a 10 point lead for Sacred Heart. Heron almost gets the pass stolen by Tyshawn Rogers. He's double teamed, finds Vin Lombardi, wide open, and it's overthrown. Vin Lombardi had Isaiah Rasco wide open and he overthrows him. So the Bulldogs will have a chance to make it a single digit lead. Dunbar stops his dribble. Rogers over to Perez in the corner. It's blocked. Out of bounds off Rasco. One thirty-eight to go. Inbound pass to Dunbar. Dunbar over to Rogers. Rodgers is going to take a big shot there, and it's off. And I'm not really sure why Tyshawn Rodgers took that shot. That was way off the mark and a very far shot. That was almost in front of the B and the Bulldogs on the half court there. Heron now with the ball, double teamed, pass to uh, Fisher. Nice ball moving underneath, Lombardi mishandles it, but Dunbar tries to dive for it, and it's out of bounds. Hearts maintain possession. 1.15 to go in the third. Sacred Heart with a double digit lead, they're up 10. Inbound pass to Heron at the Crosby of the half court line. Heron bounce pass to Rasco, underneath the Petaway. Petaway, ball is tipped, nearly stolen by Rogers. Petaway in traffic, no good. Picked up by Daniel Jones. Foul is called. So with one minute to go. And the foul is on Isaiah Rasco. That's his third. So Stephen Dunbar will bring it up. Dunbar, pass to Chapman. Chapman is blocked by Petaway. Fisher loses the ball. Diving is both Fisher and Dunbar. Jump ball, possession arrow to the Bulldogs. Tyrane Flowers comes in. He's coming in for Rasco. 44.2 seconds to go. Chapman to Rogers. Foul is called on Malik Petaway. Made contact on Tyshawn Rogers. And we have a substitution. David Whitney re-enters the game for the Sacred Heart Hearts. He's in for Malik Petaway who's committed his third foul. Rogers in traffic, shot up, no good, gets his own rebound, shot up and a foul called. Rogers back to the line. Twenty-three points for Tyshawn Rogers. Now make that twenty-four. Nine-point game. Rogers second. It's good. An eight-point game. And coming in for the first time tonight, Juan Parilla. He is a big threat behind the three-point line. 
So if they're looking to cut this lead quickly, watch for him to get the ball for Crosby. The inbound pass is gonna be called a five second. He did not get the inbound off. Crosby gets the ball back with 34.7 seconds to go. 59-51 in the third quarter. Trayvon Douglas, who can hit the three. Rogers puts up a shot, it's good for two. A lot of three-point shooters now on the floor for Crosby. Heron drives, goes coast to coast with four Bulldogs on him, draws the foul, goes to the line. Trayvon Douglas commits his third, and Mustafa Heron goes to the line shooting two. Heron's first is good. That gives him 20 points in the night. Douglas exits. Lex Perez, another sharpshooter from behind the three-point line, enters. Seven-point lead. Second shot is good from Heron. Eight points separates these two teams. 23 seconds ago. Padilla. Bounce pass to Chapman. He's double teamed, trying to get somebody. He has Rodgers, if he had a better pass, he had a wide open shot. In the corner, it's Chapman, and a foul is called on David Whitney. With 9.9 .9 seconds to go, and it's a one and one, so Chapman will go to the line shooting one and one. Chapman is Three of six tonight from the foul line. The first is no good and rebounded by Sacred Heart. That's David Whitney, the man who committed the foul, and he's gonna be called for traveling. He could not keep his feet planted. The back foot skidded just a little bit, and a turnover for Sacred Heart, Crosby getting the ball back with 6.2 seconds to go. Dunbar is back in the game. Padilla, bounce pass to Rogers, shot up, foul call. So Rogers goes to the line shooting two with 4.8 seconds to go. We're in the third quarter, folks, and both teams are in the, in the bonus. First shot is good. That could be something to look at going into the fourth quarter. Every foul counts in the fourth quarter. Tyshawn Rogers hit the first. It's now a seven point lead for Sacred Heart. Rogers second is good. And Trayvon Douglas re-enters the game. Tyshawn Rogers exits. Heron. Shot put up. He's going for the travel. He's called for the travel, so the Bulldogs will bring back Tyshawn Rogers with 2.3 seconds to go, getting the final shot here and could make this a three-point game. Dunbar will inbound it. Inbound to Rodgers. Shot put up, but a travel is called on Rodgers. So just like that, after Heron makes the big travel, Rodgers makes the big travel. So with 1.8 to go, Sacred Heart could get the final shot. Pass is tipped, picked up. The shot won't get off. And it was no good anyway. After three, it's 61-55, Sacred Heart Hearts lead over the Crosby Bulldogs. You're watching an exciting game here on Waterbury High School Sports Basketball Replay on Channel 16 and 96. My name is Michael Valenti, and it has been a fun one. The Bulldogs have been trailing all night, but yet they're still in this game. Trailing only by six. 
They've trailed as far as 13 in this game. And they're looking to get back into this one. They've had the lead. They lost the lead. Sacred Heart has had big leads. They lost the big lead. They got back the big lead. And they're slowly losing that big lead. Right now, they're holding on to it. Only six points separates these two teams. The last time these two teams met, it was three points. Three points that separated them. 79 to 76, Crosby ended up with the win. But something that may come into effect now. Both teams are in the bonus. Every foul counts. Every foul counts, meaning anytime a foul is committed, someone's going to the line. The other thing, if you remember in the last time these two teams met, Sacred Heart outscored Crosby in the fourth quarter, 28 to 24. If they could outscore the Bulldogs in this fourth quarter, they're gonna pull the upset. Heron loses the ball, goes out of bounds, and Crosby will get the ball back. So both teams have shown signs of why they're a top 10 team and they have shown signs of sloppiness. Jump ball, Crosby. Chapman lofts it up to Dunbar in the corner. He's triple team, bounce pass to Chapman. Chapman kicks it out to Rogers, he's wide open for three. Off the back of the rim, no good. Rebounded by Rasco. He's double teamed right now. He can't get a pass off, and it's stolen by Daniel Jones. Lex Perez has the ball now. Bounce pass to Rogers. Rogers in traffic off the glass. No good. Picked up by Malik Petaway. Oh, what a bad break there for the Bulldogs. Heron over to Flowers. Back to Heron. Both teams doing different chants simultaneously. Underneath, wide open, shot is blocked! It's blocked! What a block by Jared Chapman! Keeping the Bulldogs in this one. Chapman now drives. Off pedal away, hit one! And the Crosby crowd is going wild! Jaron Chapman with the big block, draws the foul, gets the bucket. And if he could complete the three-point play, we have a one-possession game. Shot is up. It's good. Substitutions for both teams. Isaiah Rasko in. Asim King in. Malik Petaway committed his fourth foul. Heron, who has three fouls. Fisher now with the ball. 19 fouls for Sacred Heart. They lead by three right now. Rasco in the corner, drives the baseline. Shot, no good. And rebounded by Jaron Chapman. He's gonna push this one. Nice ball movement there, loses the ball, and it's picked up by Charles Fisher. It's two on one. Fisher drives, shot off the glass, it's good! Now Rogers quickly pushing it. Nice stop, nice lay-in, finger roll is good for two. Timeout called by Sacred Heart. It's not over yet, folks, at the Crosby Palace. 6.18 to go in the fourth. 63-60, Sacred Heart leads the three points. Deficit for Sacred Heart, or the three-point lead by Sacred Heart. The same difference that Crosby had in winning their game last time when they met at Sacred Heart. Will it be deja vu all over again? Will it be the coincidence where Sacred Heart wins by three? We're gonna find out in the next six minutes and 18 seconds. Both crowds are getting wild. Heron fakes the shot, spin move, foul called. It looks like that's a Seam King with the foul. A Seam King second, team's eighth.
Herons first is good. Second shot is also good. Asim King, bounce pass to Tyshawn Rogers, lofted to Lex Perez, drives the baseline, no look pass, Daniel Jones didn't see it coming and it's stolen by Vin Lombardi. Pass to Petaway, Petaway, double teamed, can't get a pass off, he finds Rasco, kicks it out to Lombardi at the elbow, yes! 67 to 60. Chapman puts up a shot. It's short. Picked up by Rasco. And now he's going to quickly push it. And a foul on Tyshawn Rogers. <laughs> Zarvon Love comes into the game. In for Jaron Chapman. Both teams with nine fouls. So the non-shooting foul puts Isaiah Rasco at the line. He's looking for his first point of the game with 5.29 to go in the fourth. And there it is. Back to an eight point lead for Sacred Heart. Malik Petaway exits. He has four fouls in the night. They're gonna save him for the last few minutes. They're gonna need him. Rasco's second is no good. And I love, it's an eight point game. Tyshawn Rogers, nice move in traffic, good! Tyshawn Rogers is carrying this Bulldogs team back into this game. Six points, split these two teams. The pass is tipped and intercepted by Zarvon Love. Daniel Jones, bounce pass, it's intercepted by Charles Fisher. Fisher to Flowers. Flowers, shot up. And good! Eight points for Tyrain Flowers. In the corner, Perez for three with a hand in his face. Foul called. Perez going to the line, shooting three. On David Whitney. Lex Perez. Also looking for his first points of the night. Under five minutes to go. It's an eight point lead for the Sacred Heart Hearts. Sacred Heart, the number eight team in the state. Crosby, the number two. The first is good. So it's a seven point game. If he hits one of the next two or both, it's a two possession game. Perez hits the second. It's now a six point game. Trayvon Douglas enters, Daniel Jones exits for Crosby. Sacred Heart trying to get their configurations there. Lex Perez looking to finish off the three-point play, doing it the hard way. His third free throw is good. It's now a five-point game with less than five minutes to go. Lex Perez exits. Stephen Dunbar enters. Passes lofted and picked up by Mustafa Heron. Heron, it's tipped and picked up by Asim King. Tyshawn Rogers is gonna quickly push it up. Pass, wide open, it's Dunbar for three. No good, it's rimmed out. And picked up by Mustafa Heron. The Crosby Bulldog crowd was up, thinking it was going in. Rasco in the corner, Flowers for three. Off the rim, no good. Heron, no, it's picked up by Rogers, diving for it, he calls a timeout. Nice play by Tyshawn Rogers, staying with it. Picks up the rebound, calls a timeout. 4.24 to go in the fourth. The Bulldogs trail by five. You're watching Waterbury High School Sports basketball replay on channel 16 and 96. 
My name is Michael Valenti, and if you're just joining us, you missed a wild game here. The number two Crosby Bulldogs, who have averaged almost 90 points a game, are trailing the number eight Sacred Heart Hearts, 70 to 65. Both teams have nine team fouls committed. So that means both teams are in the double bonus. That means every foul from now on, the teams go to the line shooting at least two. Lex Perez made this a five point game when he hit all three of his free throws on a foul committed by David Whitney. Possession arrow right now going to the Sacred Heart Hearts. The ball now possessed by the Crosby Bulldogs. And King will slow things. Over to Rogers, quickly passing it to Zarvon Love underneath. The pass is blocked, goes out of bounds, and it stays with Crosby. Jaron Chapman lofts it up to Rogers. Nice pass to Lex Perez for three. Off the back of the rim, and Petaway is able to get the rebound. No foul, called on the elbow, and a man is down. That's Charles Fisher. It looks like he's holding his hip there. Can't tell if it's, if, it, if it's his hip or quad. Somewhere in the upper leg though. Coach John Carroll and the athletic trainer quickly go into Charles Fisher's aid. I missed what happened. I was too busy looking at the action with Malik Petaway and Tyshawn Rogers. It was off the action of the ball. I don't know if he twisted his knee, if someone bumped into him. Well, let's hope he's okay. Charles Fisher gets up and gets a nice ovation from both sides, Crosby and Sacred Heart. He's able to gingerly walk off the court. If it is the last time we see Fisher tonight, he has 15 points and the Sacred Heart Hearts fans leading a Charles Fisher chant. 4.05 to go. Sacred Heart has the lead, 70 to 65. Pass is lofted up to Mustafa Heron. He's double teamed, trying to get it to Rasco, stops the dribble, gets it to Rasco. Pass is tipped, and it's intercepted by Lex Perez. Wide open is Rogers, he goes up, layup is good for two. Three points. Again, we're back to three points. Three points is what separated these two teams last time. Three minutes and 49 seconds ago, the inbound pass. We have a foul on Mustafa Heron. And that's a big foul called. They're calling it a push to the back on Tyshawn Rogers. So now, King with the ball. Heron now has four fouls. Rogers stops his dribble, lofts it up to King, nearly tipped by Heron. Over to Love. Love drives, shot good! It's a one point game! Zarvon Love with his first two points in this game, and they couldn't have come at a bigger time than this. 3.25 to go in the fourth. Heron kicks it out to Flowers. Can't get the shot off. Trying to find somebody, lofts it up to Petaway. Petaway, fadeaway jumper. Yeah, good. Rebounded by Heron. Foul called, going to the line, shooting two. It's on a scene, King. Three eleven to go in the fourth. Seventy to sixty-nine. Sacred Heart leads.
First shot is good. Second shot is good. Rodgers kicks it out to King. Almost goes out of bounds. He's double teamed, stops his dribble, trying to find somebody. Finds Lex Perez, almost overthrows him. Back to King, trying to get it around to Rodgers camp. A bounce pass to Lex Perez. Now Zara Von Lund kicks it out wide open for the lead, or the tie, no good. Perez saves it off the foot of Rasco. The rest will discuss who has it. It's going to Crosby, and the Crosby Bulldog fans are going wild. Last touch by Isaiah Rasco. Lex Perez over to Tyshawn Rogers. Lofted a Chapman. Chapman, nice move. It's good for two. A one point game, 72 to 71. Sacred Heart had a 13 point lead at one point. It's now down to one. Flowers. Flowers can't find anybody. Passes over to Lombardi. Lombardi guarded by Tyshawn Rogers. Jaron Chapman joining in on the front. Malik Petaway in the baseline. Shot put up and good. Chapman mishandles the pass. It's going to Sacred Heart. Charles Fisher who left the game earlier with a leg injury. He's back in. Vin Lombardi exits. 2-10 to go, 74 to 71. I would be lying if I say I don't have chills right now for this game. The crowd is going wild regardless of what high school you're representing. Charles Fisher will inbound it. He has a couple five second violations before. Timeout called by John Carroll to avoid yet another five second violation. 2-10 to go, 74-71. You're watching Waterbury High School Sports Basketball Replay on Channel 16 and 96. It's the February 4th game between two top 10 teams, the number two Crosby Bulldogs, the number eight Sacred Heart Hearts. It's a three point game right now. Last time these two teams met was at Sacred Heart. And when they did, Crosby, the visiting team came out with a three point win, 79 to 76. That could happen again, except the visiting team this time is Sacred Heart. The Bulldogs have fought hard like the Bulldogs they are. They have not quit all night. They have trailed as far as 13. They now trail by three. They've gotten it as close as one in this second half. A Crosby team that at this point, they're often have a huge lead. This is their biggest test of the season. Fisher lofts it up. To Heron, he has four fouls. The pass is tipped, it goes out of bounds. It stays with Sacred Heart. 2.08 to go. Both teams in the double bonus. They committed 10 fouls each. Fisher is gonna be called. He stepped over the line to pass and another inbound infraction caused by Charles Fisher. Isaiah Rasco enters. Vin Lombardi exits. The crowd is on their feet. King. Over to Tyshawn Rogers. He's wide open. Back to King. Two minutes to go. Back to Rogers. Rogers in the corner. Lex Perez gets it. Tie game. Tie game. Lex Perez has tied it. Now Heron, 143 to go. Heron in traffic, travel is called on to Mustafa Heron. The Bulldogs have the ball. 
74-74 after a big three-pointer from Lex Perez. Haseem King to Tyshawn Rogers. They're holding this one as long as they can. A minute 30 to go. Rogers lofts it back to King. Now to Zarvon Love in the corner. It's Chapman. Kicks it out to King. Over to Tyshawn Rogers. 118 to go. Back over to Wasim King. King back to Tyshawn Rogers as we get to one minute, 10 seconds. King, now double team in the corner. It's Jaron Chapman, kicks it out to Tyshawn Rogers, but way too far to get a shot off. One minute to go, it's a tie game, 74-74. We could be going to overtime. King kicks it out to Tyshawn Rogers and a timeout called by the Crosby Bulldogs. Everybody's on their feet. 54.9 seconds to go. Tie game 74-74. You're watching Waterbury High School Sports Basketball Replay on Channel 16 and 96. By far the most exciting game in our, our season. The number two Crosby Bulldogs. The number eight Sacred Heart Hearts. February 4th, 2014. The Crosby Bulldogs have tied it after a big three-pointer in the corner from Lex Perez. Tyshawn Rogers, Jaron Chapman, Asim King have led the way with their offensive scoring. On the other side, Malik Petaway, Mustafa Heron. They all have helped in two. Both of the scorers, Heron and Petaway, are in foul trouble. Petaway with four, Heron also with four. So for Crosby, it's Love, King, Chapman, Rogers, and Perez. For Sacred Heart, it's Petaway, Flowers, Rasco, Fisher, and Heron. Lex Perez will inbound it. Loft it up to a seam King at the far side foul line. A let's go Crosby chant going. Rasco guarding King. King. King has been holding this ball for a long time. He's gotta get a, he's gotta get a pass off. And now King retrieves the ball back. Pass over to Chapman, Chapman back to King. 15 seconds left, King to Chapman. Back to King, nine seconds left. King in the corner, Perez for the lead, no good. Picked up with three seconds, the shot is up. No good, and rebounded, we're going to overtime. We're going to overtime. Wow. We're not going anywhere yet. We still have some basketball left. After four, after regulation, the Bulldogs have come all the way back from 13 to tie this game, and we're going to overtime. You're watching Waterbury High School Sports Basketball Replay on Channel 16 and 96. My name is Michael Valenti, and this has lived up to the hype. A packed, sold out crowd here at the Crosby Palace. Both teams coming into this game in the top 10. Crosby, number two. Sacred Heart, number eight. The star players on both teams have lived up to their potential. Tyshawn Rogers, who started this game with three points after one quarter, leads the team for the Bulldogs. Mustafa Heron has had himself a good game. Malik Petaway has had himself a big game. Charles Fisher, who left the game early, he's back in after his leg injury. Both teams committed 10 team fouls in the second half. Most of those happening in the third quarter though, so they stayed away from foul trouble in the fourth. Yeah. 
Sacred Heart has a chant going. So Malik Petaway will do the jump ball for Sacred Heart. Jaron Chapman will do the jump ball for Crosby. Get set for overtime. Here we go. The jump ball won by Sacred Heart, picked up by Charles Fisher. Fisher in the corner to Flowers. Flowers double team, lofted up, passes tip. Zarvon Love keeps it in bounds, and now Lex Perez has it. Perez, no look pass to Rogers. Now over to Asim King. King drives, shot is blocked, picked up by Heron. Heron, ball is loose and picked up by Perez. Off the foot of Fisher, oh my God! Lex Perez trying to bounce it off of Fisher. Fisher catches it and gets two points there. 17 points for Charles Fisher. Whistle blown. It will stay with Crosby, last touch by Vin Lombardi. Overtime quarters are four minutes long. Lex Perez gets the inbound pass. Oh, it's stolen by Mustafa Heron. He goes up, he slams it home. A four point lead now for Sacred Heart to start this overtime period. Pass over to Lex Perez. Perez in the corner to a seam King. King, wide open is Jaron Chapman. He can't get the shot off. He drives, kicks it out in the corner. Shot put up. Good for three. Tyshawn Rogers. Herring, cross court to Charles Fisher. 2.40 to go. One point game. Ball is lofted to Heron. Heron fakes a shot. Stops at the foul line. Puts up a jumper. Short. And picked up by Zarvon Love. Jaron Chapman, drive. Shot, no good. Picked up by Heron. Foul called. That's on Zarvon. Judging by the movement of our camera, our cameraman Zach Boulier is having a tough time getting, <laughs> getting a shot because everyone is standing and I don't blame them. This has been an exciting game. Zarvon Love has fouled out with five fouls. Finishes the game with two points. Mustafa Heron going to the line, shooting two. First shot is good. Twenty-four points for Mustafa Heron. Seventy-nine, seventy-seven. Sacred Heart leads. The second free throw is good. Is Sacred Heart's only loss in the Naugatuck Valley League? The other loss was out of conference. So Asim King will inbound this one to Tyshawn Rogers and quickly passes it back to Asim King. 2.20 to go, the crowd back on their feet. Tyshawn Rogers lofted up to Asim King. King trying to get it back to Rogers, he can't. Now Chapman trying to think of a shot, doesn't get it. Kicks it over to Daniel Jones, wide open is Tyshawn Rogers for the tie. No good, rebounded by Malik Petaway. Now Charles Fisher, Fisher lofts it up, Ali, no. Daniel Jones gets the rebound. Rogers driving, shot up, no foul called. Picked up by Malik Petaway, and a foul called. Charles Fisher and Mustafa Heron trying to put the dagger into Crosby with that alley-oop. A little off target there. Tyshawn Rogers gets the foul and Malik Petaway going to the line. <laughs> 23 points for Malik Petaway. First shot is good. One forty-seven to go, Sacred Heart with a four point lead. 
They have not trailed in overtime. Head away. Looking for point number 25. He's got it. Petaway and Heron combined for 50 points in tonight's game. Chapman drives the baseline, shot put up, and one! This game's not over yet. Jaron Chapman found the lane in the baseline. He gets the foul. He could complete the three-point play and give us a two-point lead for Sacred Heart. It will be a two-point lead for Sacred Heart. Chapman going to the line. Shot up and good. <laughs> 17 points for Jaron Chapman. Daniel Jones exits, Stefan Dunbar enters. 1.39 to go, Sacred Heart leads by two. Mustafa Heron gets the inbound pass, guarded by Jaron Chapman. Flowers, pass over to Rasko. I think it was intended for Petaway, but luckily Rasko was there. Over to Fisher. Fisher trying to find somebody. He's double teamed, 125 to go. He's double teamed still, passing over to Rasko. Rasko now to Heron at the foul line. Ball is tipped, foul is called. And Stephen Dunbar not happy with that one. I saw all ball there, but the refs saw some contact from Stephen Dunbar. So Mustafa Heron going back to the line. One seventeen to go. If he hits both, it will be very hard for Crosby to get back into this one. He misses the first. Crosby still in this. Even if Heron hits the second, it's a one possession game with Crosby having a lot of good three point shooters. Second shot is good. Bounce pass to Perez. Perez over to Dunbar. Wide open is King in the corner, but they go inside to Chapman. Shot up, no good. Gets his own rebound, shot up. No good again. Petaway gets it. Are we going jump ball? Possession arrow is Crosby. And the Crosby crowd going wild as the possession arrow was with Crosby. Sacred Heart fans not liking that one. They were looking for a foul on Jaron Chapman. They're not gonna get it. 101 to go. Crosby down three. Rogers off the glass and good for two. Tyshawn Rogers has 40 points in this game. And two points there, making this a one point lead for the Sacred Heart Hearts. You're watching Waterbury High School Sports Basketball Replay on channel 16 and 96. My name is Michael Valenti. And if this was a championship game, it would only add more drama. This has been a very exciting game. Regardless if you're rooting for Sacred Heart or Crosby, Sacred Heart has never really lost the lead or have been trailing in this game. But Crosby has found their way to come back and back and back. They've tied it, they forced an overtime, and here they are, 83 to 82 with 57.6 to go in the game. Pass is nearly intercepted by Heron. Heron drives and won! With 54.4 seconds to go, Mustafa Heron 
draws the foul and gets to the line, trying to complete a three-point play. The foul on Asim King, his fourth. Twenty-nine points. Make that thirty for Mustafa Heron. Forty points for Tyshawn Rogers. King in the corner to Lex Perez, trailing by four. Off the hand of Lex Perez, and it's going to Sacred Heart with 45.2 seconds to go. And the undefeated season is 45 seconds away from ending. Petaway gets the inbound pass. He's guarded by Daniel Jones. Off to Mustafa Heron. Heron guarded by King, now double team. Spin move over to wide open Fisher. Now to Rasco. 33 seconds to go. 86 82 is the score in overtime. Timeout called by Sacred Heart and a good timeout called by John Carroll. If you saw our first broadcast of these two teams, you knew that this was going to be a good one in, this, in the rematch. 79 76 was the final in that one where Crosby went to Sacred Heart and pulled the victory. Sacred Heart is leading by four. Some of the crowd is walking out. A four point lead for Sacred Heart. A lot of sharpshooters for Crosby. If they can pull out a couple steals here late, we could force at least another overtime. But one more basket for Sacred Heart should nail it. Mustafa Heron with 29 points, 30 points, excuse me. Malik Petaway with 25 points for Sacred Heart. For Crosby, Tyshawn Rogers started the first quarter. After one quarter, he only had three points. Since then, he scored 37, totaling 40 in this game. Rogers joins Dunbar, Jones, King and Chapman. Heron joins Petaway, Flowers, Fisher, and Rasco. 30 seconds even on the clock. Inbound goes to Flowers. Jump ball, Sacred Heart. 26.7 seconds to go. Fisher. Lofts it up to Petaway at the foul line. Wide open is Rasco. Shot is no good, but a foul is called with 23.6 seconds to go. You're danged if you do and danged if you don't. Jaron Chapman draws his fourth foul and puts Rasco on the line shooting two. If he hits both, it's still a two possession game, but they need to hit two threes with 23.4 seconds to go. Rasco's first is good. Rasco has only two points in this game. They've come from the free throw line. A five point lead. Crosby fans on their feet, Sacred Heart fans on their feet. Rasco second is no good, tipped, Petaway gets it in, that should do it. It's seven points with 19 seconds left. King puts up a three, no good. Tipped up, picked up by Fisher with 13 seconds left. Fisher over to Petaway, Petaway kicks it out to Heron, seven seconds left, 89 to 82. Foul is called with four seconds left. Mustafa Heron will go to the line. Asim King draws the foul, he fouls out. The Crosby crowd is walking out as they witness on their home court their first loss of the season. With 4.1 seconds to go, the Sacred Heart Hearts come into the Crosby Palace and have put 89, if not more, points on the board against Crosby. The number two team in the state has gone down. Sacred Heart is 4.1 seconds away 
from winning this one, Mustafa Heron. One of two players of the game for Sacred Heart. The other, Malik Petaway. Both did it on both sides of the court, offensively and defensively. Rebounded by Daniel Jones with two seconds left. Shot put up, no good. And the Sacred Heart Hearts have pulled an upset. 80, or excuse, 90 to 82, the Crosby Bulldogs go down for the first time this season. And with that, Sacred Heart and Crosby are both 6-1 and one in the Naugatuck Valley League. This is one at the Crosby Palace. My name is Michael Valenti. You've watched an exciting game on Waterbury High School Sports Basketball Replay on Channel 16 and 96. So long from Crosby Palace. This has been a presentation of Natatuck Productions and Waterbury High School Sports.